Okay, for our start today's visual pinball setup guide for a Windows PC, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a setup guide and it also helps out my channel, which I'm always appreciative of. So we're looking at somewhat slightly different today, but this is absolutely retro gaming, arcade related and most definitely emulation related. This is visual pinball. Now for retro bat users out there i did a guide for a visual pinball but today's guide is going to be an absolute standalone so you don't need a front end for this one so what we're gonna actually do first of all is download visual pinball i'll leave the links in my description and what we're gonna do is just go down to releases visual pinball x 10.7.3 which as we can see is the stable version which released uh, end of december in 2022 if we just download this one i've already downloaded it on my desktop this is going to take you to a page as it says if you want to install visual pinball from scratch please download and install just left click on that github and there you go that's now going to start downloading so what we're going to do first of all is actually install the program itself so visual pinball you can also edit your own pinball boards on this system so i'm not going to go into that today uh, but what we're going to do first of all is actually install visual pinball so double left click on the xe and if you're running windows 11 potentially windows 10 2 you'll get a little pop-up windows protected your pc if we just go to more info and run anyway Okay, so let's start the installation process. Let's just go to next. Next thing we need to do is determine where we want this installed to. So personally, I'm gonna make a little folder on my desktop. So if I right click desktop, new folder, I'm gonna just call this folder pinball. You can really call it anything you want. And I'm now gonna change the destination folder. So what I'm gonna do is go to browse and I'm gonna look for desktop. And if I just go down to pinball and left click on that one, go to okay. And from here, I'm just gonna go to next. Now the next option we got just here is DMD. So as we can see, we got several of these just here. So really this is more about having multiple screens for your pinball emulation. I don't have multiple screens. I'm gonna do a very basic setup. So I'm gonna leave the first option checked here, which is DMDX support. And I'm gonna go down to install. Just leave this to extract. Okay, so once that's finished, what we're going to do next is just press finish, and that's it. So what we're going to do now to avoid confusion is the little shortcut just here, which is the installer. Let's just delete that to get rid of it. If I right click and delete, move that to trash can. And if I now go into my pinball folder, visual pinball, I've got plenty of files in here, as well as some folders, which are gonna come in use in just a little short while. Uh, what we do have is a shortcut to launch us straight into Visual Pinball. If we just double left click on this one to make sure everything's working, and there we go. So the first thing you're gonna see is .vpx files. Now .vpx files are the files that you need for your pinball tables. So let me just show you a little website which you can very easily find. Uh, just type in Visual Pinball into Google. Uh, we got Visual Pinball forums, we got VPX pin tables uh, through vpuniverse.com and you can download your tables from here. So I've got a couple of tables ready but there's a little bit more to it in that. For example, if I click on Reanimator, and what we need to do with this particular website is actually sign up with it. It's absolutely free, otherwise you can't download your tables. Let's go for Reanimator, which is of course a classic 1980s horror film. So if I go to download this file, you're likely going to find several things to download per table. Or you might just see two things to download. Now for this particular table for Reanimator, which is one of my favourite horror films <laughs> of the 80s, we got two downloads here. So we got Medias and we got Reanimator. So I've already downloaded these and they're on my desktop. So if we just close out a visual pinball, let's take a look at the Reanimator and Medias, which I've downloaded. So if we go into Reanimator, inside of here, we've of course got our Reanimator VPX. 
And we've also got another file with this one, reanimator.directb2s. What I need to do is just extract both of these files for now, just drag them onto the desktop. And what we're going to do is just delete the reanimator.archive just there, just to get rid of it. And we're going to go into the pinball folder inside of visual pinball. What we're going to do first of all is go into the tables folder and this is where your .vpx files are going to go. And we're also going to drag in the .directb2s file inside of this tables folder. If we drag these inside and we open up visual pinball, we should now see reanimator has appeared. If we just open this one and just OK. Now it's saying that base music sound library cannot load if we OK this and it's also going to give us a little bit of information on a particular ROM set that this .vpx requires. So for this type of thing you're going to need to google this but it's going to give us a list of what we need just here. For example a .zip folder called diamonds. Now in this case if I go and close out of everything just here inside of my medias archive that I've also downloaded I've got medias inside of here and we've actually got what it's asking for here in this one diamonds so we've also got music so let's just go inside of music and back into the visual pinball folder now we've got a folder here called music and your music which accompanies the table will go inside of this folder just like this and if we come back out, we've also got that diamond.zip. So if you're into main games, uh, sometimes you'll, you'll have a game zip and you might also need something like a sample or CHD. So uh, this works in a very similar way, really. So what we need to do is take the diamond.zip for this particular board and we're going to go into the vpin main. And in here, we're going to go into the ROMs folder. And just here, we can drag in the ROM, the diamond.zip, which supports and powers this reanimator game. Let's just pop that one inside. Next up, what we're going to do is open up Visual Pinball once again. And we're going to open up Reanimator. And again, we got some options here. Let's just OK this for now. And here we go, so we're inside a reanimator completely with music. Now what we need to do to actually start playing the game is, is insert coin. If I press 3 on my keyboard in M1 to start. Here's our ball. If I then press enter, what this is going to do is flick the pinball. And my left and shift keys on my keyboard are going to act as the flippers. Okay, and to exit the game, what I'm going to do is just press Q on my keyboard, and that's going to bring up your pause little window which pops up. If I go to quit to editor, and we're out. So what I'm going to do is just run through this again. So each pinball table, it's got a slightly different setup. So for example, we've got Halloween, and I've got Halloween music zip folder just here. Uh, Halloween music. So what I'm going to do is go back to the pinball, visual pinball folder inside of my music folder. If we look at Halloween music, here we go. So we got all of our .mp3 files which goes alongside of the table itself. So I'm going to just drag in my Halloween music folder inside of the visual pinball music folder. Uh, next up, what we need to do is take a look at the ROM file or the ROM zip. So just a minute ago, you noticed that I was talking about CHDs and samples for main arcade games. And so this particular table, which is Halloween, requires the Medusa.zip folder. And of course, those go inside of your ROMs folder. So we got diamond.zip just here. So if we look inside there, it's got those files inside, which prompted us to have just a minute ago before I put them into this folder. 
So for Halloween, I'm going to pop Medusa.zip, just like this, inside of the V-Pin main ROM folder. And we've also put our music in. And next up, we got the .vpx itself, which is the visual pinball table. So, of course, they go inside your table folder. If I just open up Halloween, here's the VPX. Just drag and drop. And what I'm going to do is open up visual pinball. And here we go. So, I've now got Halloween as well as reanimator. So, double left click. And it's asking for music. So, of course, I didn't actually drop the music correctly into that folder. So, I'm going to press Q to come out of the table because we need some music with this. If I go to quit to editor, what I'm going to do is go back into the music folder. And here's my Halloween music. Uh, what I'm going to do is just make a copy of this and just paste it just like this and delete halloween music now technically if we open up halloween again we should now have some music and there we go so we got music to go with it uh, now like i said we got other things with visual pinball such as dmd and back glass but really that type of thing is more for having multiple screens and i'm not covering this on this setup guide because i'm literally doing a very basic one for pinball enthusiasts out there or people who's never seen uh, we can actually emulate uh, or rather simulate pinball machines just like this one so Remember, it's all about your keyboards. Uh, we got the Q button, which is going to bring up the pause window where we can quit. Uh, your enter button makes the pinball pop up. Uh, we got left and right shift buttons, which are going to act as your flippers. And uh, digits three and one is going to act as your start and insert coin buttons. Now, if we come outside of the tables themselves, we can actually change the video settings. If we go to preferences at the top, if we just go down to video graphics options, just here we can see display. So obviously, if you're going to be using Visual Pinball on multiple displays, then you'll likely see several displays here if you've got them all hooked up to the single computer. Uh, as we know, I've only got the single screen, so display for me is literally just showing display as one. But we've also got different ways we can display pinball just here. Uh, by default, this is windowed full screen. If I go to something, uh, let's go for 1680 by 720. If I select that one and go to OK, and I go to file, and I open up a pinball again, so I'm going to open up reanimator. And here we go. So what we're going to do from here is go to play, which is under table. And here we go. So we've got a slightly different layout this time round. If we just quit out of this again. So remember to press Q on your keyboard, quit to editor. And again, under preferences, video graphics options, we got lots of different things to play with just here, uh, such as anti-aliasing post process double A. Uh, this is currently on standard FX double A for me. Uh, we can play around with these, so quality SMAA. So anti-aliasing, of course, takes away jagged edges on objects. So if you've got higher end computers, it's worth experimenting with anti-aliasing, definitely. We also got don't stretch the ball, which is ball aspect ratio for stretch tables. So really, I could be going on for a very long time talking about the video various different video settings we got just here uh, we got set for high-end PC which is gonna set this up automatically for us or if you're running a lower end computer just go to set for low end PC and as you can see as I hit on set for low end PC the anti-aliasing is now become disabled because that's really wearing on your computer if I go to set for high end everything is then gonna go and display everything at the very best if I go to OK and I go to table and play the game again. 
this will be now at the very best settings. And of course, I can't particularly play it like this, so I'm going to press Q, go to Quit to Editor, and from here, I'm going to go back to Preferences, Video Graphics Options, and I'm going to put the display down to windowed full screen once again, just making sure that set for high-end PC is still on. So go to OK, and we're then going to go to Table and Play. And here we go. So this is maxed out for me right now. And I'm very bad at pinballs, but there you go. Now, if you want to use a controller such as an Xbox controller, if we go to Preferences, Configure Keys, from just here, if I now connect my Xbox controller, and right on the bottom right hand side just here, we're going to find Input API. If I put this down to X Input, and I go to Button Assignments, if I left click on Left Flipper, from here I can go to Left Flipper, and what I'm going to do is use Button 1, and if I then go to say right flipper, I can use button two. And bear in mind, these buttons just here are literally going to be displayed as buttons. So it's a little bit of a trial and error. Uh, we got add credit, so I'm going to map this one as button three. And we got start game, which I'm going to map as button four. So if I then go back into the game, if I press OK, table, play. So right now my Xbox controller is working fine with this. And that's it for today's Visual Pinball, Visual Pinball X setup guide. So like I've been saying throughout the video, I've literally just got the one screen and things like back glass are really for multiple screens. Uh, so yeah, very basic setup guide. Just remember that your .vpx files and your music files is where is the ROM supporting .zip folders are all crucial to playing these pinball games using Visual Pinball. Anyways, if you liked today's video, hit no notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on the upcoming retro emulation content and just remember I did cover this a little while back for retro bat so if you're a retro bat user check out the video for that I'll leave the link in my description for easier access to that guide anyways join me on social media I'm on Facebook Instagram Twitter and TikTok but until next time stay retro